So you might not be able to buy a new graphics card right now, but what you can do is substantially increase the performance of your current one. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video where I go over my Far Cry 6 optimized settings. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. Alright, so Far Cry 6 just released and I decided I would go ahead and make this video because not only do I want you guys to get the maximum FPS possible out of this title and with your current hardware, but at the same time I don't want you to have to significantly sacrifice the visual fidelity of the game while doing so. But in any case, before we go ahead and jump into this video, real quick in the comments below, let me know what you guys think about Far Cry 6. Honestly, so far I'm really enjoying it and also while you're at it, go ahead and drop a like and share this video with your friends who you think might need it because honestly, I think this is a really important video for helping people getting the maximum FPS out of their hardware. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And for these tests, I decided to go ahead and run the game at 4K with HDR on and HD textures enabled. And the rig I'm going to be using has a Ryzen 9 5950X 16 core processor, 32 gigabytes of 3800 megahertz, all running overclocked, and an RTX 3090 also overclocked. And of course, if you're running a resolution lower than 4K, like 1440p, maybe you're using like a 3060 Ti or 37 or even like 1080p, maybe you're using something like a GTX 1070 or even like a GTX 1060. And of course, all the settings I go over in this video are going to be able to be uh, translated to your rig regardless of what GPU or resolution you're using. But in any case, let's go ahead and get right into the chart. So starting off, I did a real quick run at just full ultra settings just to get a baseline of what it's like. And I got an average frame rate of 73 FPS and a minimum frame rate of 53 FPS, which of course isn't too great considering that that minimum is dropping below 60 FPS. And I honestly really don't like that as I do like to get my FPS as close to 120 as possible with those minimums definitely above 60 FPS for the smoothest gameplay. So for my first optimized settings, I decided to go for max visuals optimized. And for this, I did ultra settings, no ray trace shadows and FSR ultra quality enabled because honestly, you know, the fidelity FX super resolution in this game is really, really good. And I do believe if you're someone who's looking for the absolute maximum fidelity out of this game, this honestly doesn't really look too different than just running full ultra. And for this, I got an average FPS of 103 frames per second, which is actually 41% higher than full ultra and a minimum that is 62. So that is over 60. And then next I went for a balanced optimized settings. Uh, still, once again, this really doesn't look too much worse than just full ultra. And here I did ultra settings, no ray tracing at all and FSR on quality. And here I got an average FPS of 121, which is actually 66% higher than just running full ultra and a minimum of 95. So now it's starting to look really good. And then finally, I did a max FPS. FPS optimized setting where I did uh, just high settings, no ray tracing, and once again, FSR on quality. And here I got an average frame rate of 134 frames per second, which is actually 84% higher than running full ultra. And once again, it honestly doesn't really look that much worse. So yes, uh, technically running full ultra is a little bit sharper, but you know, ultimately I don't really think this combination of settings, you know, realistically looks that much worse. And then a minimum FPS of 106. So here we're getting a minimum that is over hundred frames per second. So at all times, this is going to look and run very, very smooth. So hopefully guys, this did help you out. And of course, if it did, make sure to share it with your friends. And you know, of course, if you like some of these settings, you don't necessarily have to do an exact replica of what I showed you. Maybe you like to run FSR on ultra quality, but no ray tracing. You can definitely go ahead and do that. But this should hopefully give you an idea of what types of settings you should be tweaking to get, you know, the most FPS out of this title. And ultimately, whether you go with max visuals, a balance setting or max FPS, I think all three of these setting combinations do look very, very good. And once again, hopefully this did help you get a lot more FPS out of your game so you're enjoying it a lot more. But hey, that's just what I think. What settings are you running in Far Cry 6? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.